What's going on guys, Kaivox here, and welcome to a new wand review. Damn, I always forget, like every time I start a new video, I forget what I'm doing instantly. If you guys have never uh, watched any of these wand reviews, um, it's pretty simple. You guys submit some wands, I talk about the wands, I usually nitpick about the wands, and some of you will get a little uh, offended, hopefully not, and you guys can submit your wands to newwandsday at gmail.com. You just have to make sure you submit them in a 16 by nine aspect ratio, which is basically the, it, it's actually exactly the size of the screen. So uh, it just makes it a little bit, a little bit easier to talk about the wands. So we are um, still a pretty, pretty far behind. Uh, we are back in the, the beginning of June of last year. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, let's start off with one submitted by Andrew Martin. You have a couple submissions. Um, they are both, all, all three of them. You have three submissions. Um, they're all, they're all, th all three of them are nice. Um, one of them is is pretty cool, but it, you said it broke. This one, it, su it sucks. It sucks that it broke. Um, you did a good job, though, wrapping it up. If you had done that little wrap on the blade, the same color, like, yarn or whatever you used on the handle i don't think it would even be like noticeable that it was possibly a, like a band-aid on there but if you're going for the band-aid honestly i have nothing bad to say about this i think it, it, it came out really nice your next one though that's super creepy i don't know if you like handmade all of that or if it's kind of natural and bulky and gross i like it but it's super gross i think that's the best way to describe it is gross not in a bad way just in like a gross way gross doesn't have to be bad right no it doesn't but it's i can't look at it anymore i don't want to look at it anymore but i do want to look at it but i don't and your next one um i mean when, when i don't have a lot to say it's usually a good thing. This is super nice. Um, I love the the little bird pigeon head, kind of what I, I call it. I've made a couple like that before, and they're just, it's super nice. Yours, I really like the the angled cut that you have on that head, on like kind of like the, I guess you could say like the chin part of it, like how angular it is, and then it kind of smoothens out to like a rounded um, handle. Very, very nice. I like it. Oh, and, and thanks for the um, the suggestion about that book there. Okay, next up, we have some some bangers. These are, <laughs> these are really nice. One of them looks like the, uh, the Zelda wing thing. Those, that wing symbol on the, on like Link's sword. I think it's on Link's sword. I'll have to look that up. But it kind of reminds me of that, like just... Very, very nice. I don't know what kind of wood this is, but it looks super nice with that, like, that light color. Yeah, you did an excellent job. It, you possibly carved this. Did you carve this by hand? It looks like you carved it by hand because there's a couple of little, like, notches here and there. It looks really good. Like, very, very, very good, man. Very nice. Let's check out this next one here. Man, same style, same wood, obviously. A little bit less detail, but could just very nice. It the only thing I would I would maybe add is like I saw that you did like a like the varnish on it, probably just like a clear varnish of some kind. But if you had maybe done a little, um, just a little bit of like accent work to kind of fill in, like you know where you have that little crack on the handle on the the end of the handle on the pommel side, if you had done a little bit of um, so maybe a little bit of like some some dark spots on there, you know, kind of like fill in the gaps, uh, kind of like a um, like a wet like a what is it called a wet brush? No, a wet rub. If you did like a rub on it uh, to kind of fill in the the gaps a little bit, yeah, that would have just made it pop a little bit nicer. But not actually, I misspoke. Not nicer, but it would just make it a little bit more visible. Your, your your work that you did on it would be a little bit more visible. But 
I mean, it looks good either way. It doesn't really matter. It's just something that you could have done. I'm not saying, maybe I did say you should have done this, but I'm saying you could have done it, but you didn't have to. You, you didn't. Just forget what I said. All right, so I just got a submission um, by an Owen. Uh, you submitted a, a photo, but it's like, it's like this big, it's very tiny. So we're gonna skip that one, okay? So for anybody that wants to submit stuff, it's like a, it's a drawing out of like a, like a book, but it's so tiny that I can't even really see any of the details on there. Oh boy. Okay, we got some new ones here. Oh, another more from Andrew Martin. Yeah, more from Andrew Martin. All right, Andrew. All right, boy, this is like the Andrew Martin night. Okay, so this first one, beautiful little symbols on the, on the handle there. It looks like you submitted another picture of the same wand. Yeah, and the other side is flat. Cool idea. I, I kind of like it. Or is it two wands? Is it like a, like, are they like twin wands? Because that'd be kind of cool, right? That'd be kind of cool. I do like it. I feel like it's a little bit, it's a little bit of a thick boy. Uh, if it was a little bit thinner, I think it would be, it would be perfect. I think it would be that extra 10%, but it's still really good. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's very good. It's like a hundred percent, but you need 110%. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Next up we have, it looks like an antler of some kind and beautiful dude. Another, another good one right here. So, uh, jackalope anter, ant, jackalope antler. Got him. Very nice. Uh, that, that you know, I really got to get my hand on some antlers. Like if you guys know anywhere to get like some nice antlers, I think somebody already told me and I already forgot where it was. So I need to get me some because that looks dope. Okay. Next up we have this squiggly black one, man. I don't even like, I don't like the squiggly ones, but mostly because people make them like, you know, and that's just like, looks stupid. This looks cool and different and like organic. Um, I don't know how much of it is, is actually part of the original branch. Yeah. Okay. So it is, it's maple root, uh, which I carved down following the natural contour of the wood. That's why it looks so organic because it is organic. Dang. Okay. Next up we have, uh, Edward Bavaria, Bavar Bavaria, Bavaria. I think I got it. I think that's it. What I don't like, not much. I like most of it. I like the color. It's really good. The shape, super unique. A little too bendy, but not, not too far. And then it's a little too, it looks nice and organic, yes. But I think that the very end gets too pointy for the thickness of the blade. I think if it were to taper down a little bit more, ever so slightly, like a little bit, just tiny, tiny, tiny amount. But it's like 90% there, you know what I'm saying? It's like, so guys, just so you know, whenever I like, I... I, I kind of nitpick on, on all of you. I do the same thing to my wands that I'm making. I have like five wands right now that I haven't po put up for like a long time. I've, I've had three of them that I've just been kind of nitpicking away at them for like the last like two or three months. Um, it's just kind of like what you do, right? And I'm kind of doing that for you. But... If you don't, if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but that's kind of like, like I'm saying, like that's, that's what I do for myself. Um, and that's kind of like, I'm treating you guys the way I would treat myself. And if I see that you have like a lot of potential that you, that you can do better, I'm going to try to encourage you in kind of like, a a, a tough love way, you know, to, to, to tell you what's wrong. I'm not going to be mean about it, but maybe you'll be offended. I'm So if you are, not, I'm sorry, not sorry type thing because I warned you. But um, yeah, there you go. 
I think I explained myself pretty well. Oh, no. Is this from Owen again? Oh, man, you're sending like tiny pictures, my dude. Um, Owen, you know who you are. You submitted a drawing and then you submitted three photos of one wand. But they are tiny. Like, let me see if I zoom in. Yeah, no, these things are like 100 by 100 pixels. Not literally, but they, they're, they're way, I can't, I can't talk about them. Okay, so we have um, one submitted by Codex, but um, there are no photos in the actual email. So resubmit that if you are watching this. Okay, here we go. This is an interesting one. It looks like we got three wands submitted by a Jesse. And it looks like they had some uh, kids in the neighborhood that were that got super into Harry Potter during the the quarantine, um, and it looks like they made some wands for them. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's look. Let's look a little deeper at these. So this first one, what is this? Okay, is it one? Yes, it is. Okay, cool, 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 cool. cool. So this is, this is a, a good example of um, what you can do with one wand and kind of make it look like it's two different wands or wand woods. What you can do with one wood and make it look like it's two different woods. Got it. It's nice. It's a weird shape with a little ball at the end, but then no guard, but then the guard's up a little bit higher, but then it, the handle ends a little sooner. It's very like kind of all over the place. I like it though. It's nice. I like the little bit of gold paint you put in there. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a decent... Decent wand. What is this one made out of? Right, so yeah, you didn't say what kind of wood it was. So let's move on to this next one. This next one is uh, pretty nice. The only thing that I don't love about it is the very end of the um, of the blade, the the point, the tip, whatever you want to call it. It seems to be just squared off. Um, I always, I won't give my wands a completely um, pointy or flat end. I usually kind of try to soften it up a little bit uh, in a kind of organic way. Even if the wand itself is very lathe oriented and very, very uniform, I will still try to kind of just give it a little like hit on the, um, on the, the sander a little bit just to like you flatten it out and then you kind of smoothen it out a little bit maybe give it a little bit of a little mistake mistake and it kind of just adds a little bit your first one didn't seem to have that kind of you kind of round it off the end but this one you did just chop right off even if you took a little bit of sandpaper to it maybe it's just the angle makes it look a little bit more like that i really like those that little lightning thing you did there with the um the gold leaf, I'm assuming that is. I'm not sure what you got here. Brass leaf? Liquid brass leaf? Sure. Whatever that is. Gotta look that up. This next one I'm not a huge fan of. It just, I don't know, something about it. It's just, a, it's a little too bulky looking. Um, the end of it is a little too uh, square. But I'll give you this though. If you are making this for younger children, um, Everything you did makes 100% sense for that last one. They are, they're going to probably be smacking that thing around. You're going to probably be like whacking trees with it and stuff. So definitely makes sense. Make it a little bit thicker. All right. Next up, we got one by another Edward. That's not their name. Their name is Edward. Um, you'll know who you are. So this is made out of a Chinese Elmwood. You are 11 years old. Congratulations. You're probably 12 by now. Yeah, you're 12 by now. Congra happy birthday. I'm, I'm very happy for you. And this looks very, oh, the image is kind of small. Okay. All right. But it's not too small. I can still, I can still check it out. So it's a little on the simpler side. Um, obviously, you're younger. You don't have access to all the types of different tools and stuff. But uh, did you spray paint the end of this? Yeah, and then you sanded it down. Nice. Um, that's a great technique to get some, like, contrast. You know, you you spray it. I do recommend, if you don't want the paint, kind of tip, 
pro tip for everybody, and I think I've given this tip before, if you don't want the paint to sink into the wood too much, right? If you use a, a, a quick drying paint, it should be okay. You should be able to sand it off once it dries fully, fully, wait at least like two days. If you use like a varnish or something or some sort of dye, it's gonna embed itself. So what I would recommend, if you're gonna do that, clear it first, put a clear coat of some sort of clear varnish or something on it, let it fully dry and then add the paint because then you have that layer that's embedded inside and it's kind of protecting the surface. So whatever you spray on it is gonna be on the surface, on the top, as opposed to embedding itself under. So even if you sand it, you'll still have some like weird dark spots. Similar to what I did with this one, where I uh, painted it and then sanded it down to give it, um, the low spots will stay and the high spots will, um, will obviously let the wood through. Makes sense, right? This one was submitted by Trip, and it's it's pretty nice. It's it's a obviously a twig wand, uh, branch wand, whatever you want to call it. What I think you should have done a little bit more is thinned out the blade. That's it. The rest would have been fine. The blade is a it. It narrows down too much where you started removing the bark, where basically the blade begins, the guard spot, and then it kind of almost thickens up toward the rest of it. So if you should have at least kept most of that thickness thin for most of it, and then kind of either taper down a little bit more at the end, but a, a gradual taper would have been ideal. There are a couple of spots that are thinner. I made this a couple of years ago. Maybe you've made some more since. You can always go back and modify this, but if you like it, that don't do anything to it. That's all that matters. I'm just an old grumpy man here, okay? All right, here we go. Ugh. Let me adjust my legs. I, I spilled like my water, my ice water on my lap. <laughs> uh, like right before I started recording this. So my chair is like still a little wet, it sucks. So that means that my butt is also wet, but if I don't move, I can't feel it. I can still feel my butt, but I can't feel the wetness. I, I promise you I didn't pee myself, but it's like cold pee. If, you, if anybody that's ever peed themselves, you know it's uncomfortable. Okay, so we got six wands submitted by Jordan Maxim. Pretty cool name, man. Pretty intense. And you are from Michigan. Oh, nobody's been saying where they're from, hey? Guys, I always like to know where people are, like, at least, if obviously, if you're from the U.S., you can tell me, like, the state, because that's cool, Because other, or you could just say you're from the U.S. That's fine, too. I, I'm, or you, you don't have to do anything, okay? I just always think it's fun to, like, see where people are sending stuff from. And it's always fun if, you, if you're from somewhere else, Australia, you know, Mexico, Brazil, that's always cool. Um, you don't have to tell me what part of it because I won't know, and I probably won't know how to pronounce it, okay? Unless you're from Brazil, because I'm from Brazil. I know certain parts of Brazil, so that'd be cool. If you're like, oh, I'm from Santarém, and I'm like, oh, dude, I was born there. That's where I was born, bro. You know, maybe we're cousins. I have a lot of family there. Are we related? Did we just become best friends? Yep. Okay, Jordan. Let's start off with this a first one. Okay, so it looks pretty good. I don't have much to say about it. I could nitpick and be like, it's a little thick, but I don't think it is. I think it's just, it's a little shorter. It's a shorter wand, so it may look a little thicker. So just I'm just going based on your hands and your broken thumb. I really like it. You did a nice job. Those those runes on the handle look pretty clean, pretty pretty well done. Black wands, overrated. There really aren't a lot of them. Do I have any? I do. I don't make black wands often. I don't make fully painted wands often. I usually, like half of it is painted. If I make any sort of painted. Yeah, I'm looking, at, I'm looking down at the five wands I have in front of me. Like two of them are fully painted. One of them is half painted. 
Another one is a quarter painted. Another one is like a quarter painted. So there's always some sort of like something going on with mine. Remember what's the word? I really like it. Next one. Oh, do you have like some little mini runes like drawn into that black thing? First of all, your your thumb, man. That thing is like I can't. I don't think I could bend my thumb that far. That this is how far my my thumb bends. That's as far as it goes. So congratulations for having a superpower um, that you can. I can bend my fingers like I, my fingers do this when I stretch them out. Um, this finger, these fingers have a bunch of band aids on them because I cut myself recently. But now I can go like peace. I cut myself. I was like th this finger has like a one inch gash on the top of it. Sucks. I uh, what 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 can I say bad about this? What can I what can I nitpick? The only thing. Only thing I would like to see a little bit more of a taper toward the end, like halfway, 70% of the way up. I was measuring with my eyes. I was eye measuring 70% of the way up. I would like to see it start tapering a little bit sooner, maybe like 30% from the tip down the blade. To just taper a little, a, a little bit. Let's see my the thickest one I have. Probably this one. So this is like the thickest wand I have here. And you can see it just kind of, it does taper. It tapers and it gets thicker and it gets thick. And then it kind of maintains its thickness all the way. Not all the way, but part, most of the way down. It has to flow. It has to flow a little bit better. <sighs> Other than that stupid comment. It's a dope wand. Okay, now this next one. This next one seems a little bit more, a little bit more intricate, a little bit more finesse, you could say. But the blade suffers from the same problem. <laughs> Gaudy. Just a pre personal preference. Just a just a little bit. It looks too drumsticky. Does that make sense? Is drumsticky a word? It's not. But you understand what I'm saying. You get it. Too drumsticky. Like if you were to just chop off the little head of the drumstick, what's that called? Who knows? Nobody knows. Shut up. Then you would basically have that. It looks exact. It's too straight. But listen, there are plenty of official wands that have that exact same look. But those are the, the not so nice ones. The nicer looking ones aren't like that. You know what I mean? Like some people love Draco's wand, but I feel like they love Draco's wand because they love Draco. So they're kind of like biased. They're like, oh, he's my favorite. So I'm going to like his one. I'm going to like everything he does. I don't really care what he does. I'm just going to like it so much. Well, you're stupid because it's an ugly wand. An uglier wand is his dad's wand. Not the, not the snakehead one. That one's pretty cool. But his other wand is very ugly. And then there's a ton. There's a ton of ugly wands. I have some of them. Okay. Other than that, I mean, honestly, it's, it's pretty swell. The, the detail's nice. You got, it looks like you have like a little stone or something on the pommel. Now, this next one, I, let me look at the rest. I'd say out of all of them, this is probably my least favorite. I don't know what it is about it. Just something. It still looks, it looks nice. You got the blade, the, the thick blade again. But other than that, it's, it's, it's good. This, I, I like the color. The color is my favorite on this one. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. The the one that has the nicest color. That black. The black is always nice though too. So you can't really beat that. Uh, it looks like you did a lot of hand carving on these. Doesn't look like you use a lathe for the most part. Yeah, it doesn't look like you're using a lathe. It looks like you're actually doing this all either with a knife or some tools and stuff. Because you got a little bit of that ir irregular like effects on there. Not a bad thing. Definitely gives you like a different look to to your stuff. So it's honestly not bad at all. This next one, I actually really like. I like the burning, the, the burnt balls on there. I think they look really cool and just nice work. Nothing really bad to say about it. It's not the best wand I've seen, but it is like up here. You know what I'm saying? This is like the bottom here. This is like the, the good ones. And then you got like the stars. 
So it's not, they're not, they're not quite stars, but they're all very good. Okay. Now this one is submitted by Mike from Wandlore. Oh, Wandlore Masterpiece on Instagram. I didn't understand what that was. I was like, is that a place? I want to live there. Okay. So these are two wands and it looks like you did a little bit of uh, some clay work. If I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to find what you've said on here. Fig tree branch. Second one is oak branch with hand carved snake. All right, let's let's check this out. Okay, so I am impressed. Now, that hand carved snake, I can't tell. Like it's very dark, and the lighting is very dark, and the the wand itself is dark so it's hard to tell but if you did carve that i think you did an excellent job from what i can tell now the other one did you carve that is is that i feel like that handle um kind of looks like kind of looks like a like clay that you put on there but it, maybe it's because of like the different the different finish you did on that part of it. To me, it looks like clay. It looks good though. It's weird. It's it's definitely super weird. It I I don't have a lot to say about it. It kind of has like those tubers on them. I don't even know if tuber is a real word, but that those look like tubers to me, if that makes sense. Super creepy. Now the other one though, the snake one, I it's just super simple. You got a decent taper on there. I do like that taper. We're talking about tapers all day, baby. I like it. Alrighty then. So let's look at these. There's a lot going on here. I don't hate the colors. Some may say that the colors aren't really, you know, true to the, I like the colors. I think they're fine. I think that they're a little bit painted a little crazy. Some of them. It looks like you did some hot glue. Some hot glue. Yeah, a little bit of sanding. Some drilling on some of these. Some weird string or something on one of them. They're all right. They're not so wand-like. But for like a party or something, these would work well. You have no name here for me, so... Nice job. Oh, we got another one by Jordan Maxim again. This one is made out of ash. You're burning that ash, huh? I, that's what it, that's, I like burning ash wood. It just, it's kind of like a silly joke I tell myself. And it's, it's nice. It's simple. Not really much to say about it. No, nothing good, nothing bad. But plenty of good. It looks good. The taper's a little off on the end, but... Today's theme, taper your blade. Just taper the blade. Taper the blade. It's simple. I feel like I've said that so many times today. It's like literally like 90% of the ones that we've talked about have had a little bit too thick of a blade. I feel, I, I honestly feel like I have to keep repeating myself, but this is my opinion. Don't get offended. I just like them better when they're not as thick at the end. Okay, so we got a submission by Rose Rose from the UK. Yes, nice, UK. Cool, 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 cool. I'm looking at all of them at once, and the first one, number one, I really like. The second one, I also like, but I'm a little confused on the pommel, right above the pommel or right past the pommel part of it. With the little rope wraps around. That looks good. And then you got the ring at the end and the rope is attached to the ring or whatever kind of rope that is. Now, the third one, the that one's my favorite. There's some little bits of it that I that you really couldn't have, like that skinny little branch. It would just be too fragile and probably break off. But you could have it like a little shorter, a little stubbier. That one would be difficult to to get it to be so organic and nice looking and also thin at the same time because it would most likely want to be super thick. The next one kind of reminds me of a banana sword, like a sword had a baby with a banana. 
That's it. I don't love it. It's a little too thick. Those lines are nice. You can get something cool with those lines going, but it would just, you need to like, you need to take the image and just go, just, I don't know why it makes noise. The, the last ones, you know, for a drawing, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it maybe if it was made, it would probably be a lot better, but it's just kind of boring. Not that your drawing is boring. I draw plenty of boring ones and you guys still like them. So I appreciate it. But the compared to the other ones, that one's definitely the most tame, the simplest you, you like, you were like, all right, let's, let's keep it simple, stupid. All right, let's keep it simple. All right. Next up we have one by JC Morgan. The original wand was made of polymer clay and gold leaf. Okay. So the whole wand is made of polymer clay. I can see that those, those twists you got going on there. It's pretty intense. Yeah, that would be possible to do. It would just be work, you know, the gold leaf. I do like, I got a little bit of, I got a little bit of gold leaf on one of my wands today too, or not today, but one of these ones, this is, I got some gold leaf going on there too. I like, I like the end having the gold leaf on it. Uh, I'm going to definitely be doing that to one of my wands someday. Cause I really like, it. I like how it looks. I like the little, the little bit of that, like the crackling on it. The only thing that I think you're missing is since it is such like a smooth, twisty, cool design, I think you, you could have done with some, you could have gone two different routes sanded it down more to get a nice smooth like polished surface for when you did the clear or you could have gone the other route and kind of did a dry brush on it maybe even like a like a gold dry brush to get a little bit of the bumpy parts to pop out a little bit more it doesn't have to be heavy so this one here has a very heavy dry brush so that's why all of the all of the highlights are popping out so much on that. You don't have to have that. It could have been, you could have, you could do like a super light dry brush. You just need to make sure you get rid of most of the paint on the brush, most of it. And then you go super light just a couple of times just to make those and those like little like bobbles, those little bits. I don't know. What are they called? The, the grain, I guess the fake grain since it's made out of clay. Uh, just to make that pop a little bit more. Okay, next up we have one by a Tommy. And let's see this image. It's a little dark. I like the handle. It looks like it's one one wood. I keep saying that. It's one wood and you just cut it down to give it kind of like the handle. There's a little bit of ruggedness, ruggedness to the handle. And then you got that little wrap around the blade. I, I, I don't know what the blue stuff is that you got underneath there. I think it kind of takes away from it a little bit because it just makes it a little bit too busy. Um, other than that, it's, it's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. Okay. So I do believe I have seen some of the next submitter's wants in the past. And they have blown me away. And today's wants... Blow me away again. These are all super dope. A couple of them, I would have tapered the ends a little bit more. Because almost some of them even look like they kind of bulge out at the end a little bit. But man, that that one's that one's dope. But it has the weird end thing. Okay, good okay, Let's talk about these one at a time. Let me pop this thing. I want to make this thing big here so I could see it very nice and clearly. Man, this looks super cool. I could do this one out of want out of wood. Um, I think I really like the swirl on that. That is just very nice. This one has a nice and you can see look, 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 look at this, guys. If you look at that swirl, you can see that it literally gets smaller and smaller as it goes around. As it goes around. That's not a song. And then you got that green. I wish you had put the wand on a different colored sheet so that it didn't uh, it didn't blend in with that handle wrap that you did there. Handle wrap looks good, though. It's just classy, man. I'm pretty sure these are all made of clay. Yeah, polymer clay and a dowel in the middle to, to kind of start it off. And 
beautiful. I just, I just really, I like all of these, man. I'm so jealous. I want some of these. I want, I want one of your ones. Come on. Send me one of your ones. Okay, now this next one. If you like mushrooms, classic, like what are these called? These are like those poisonous mushrooms too. I'm pretty sure that these Mario style mushrooms are poisonous. This is super cool. Again, this one could definitely be made. I mean, all of these could be made by by hand with tools, obviously, but by, but you can make all of these out of a real wand. I think actually one of the wands that I have that I'm going to be putting up recently or soon is inspired by one of the ones of, of your wands. Wait, who was this? Where's her name? Where's her name? It's Jenna from Massachusetts. Massa I sh I, you're like right above me. You live, you live in the state above me. I should know how to say it, but I'm not going to try to say it again because I always mess it up. Oh, mess it up. The, the mushroom one's super cool. And then you got this like extra little detail on the, the head of the mushroom. I guess you could say the, ba the base of the head of the mushroom. All right, we're getting kind of weird now. But anyway, those, all those little details in there looks super cool. Okay, now this next one. It almost has like a, like if you were to take a steel square rod and like twist it. That's what it looks like. Also, the choice of colors are good. You seem to like green. Four out of five of these wands have some sort of green theme to it. Maybe it's just was just this batch of wands. I mean, guys, look at this. Look at look at this. The only thing, like I said, the the very end of the blade could have tapered a little bit more. That's it. That's the only the only nitpick that I really have for that one. Um, and then this next one is going to be the same thing. The only thing that I would nitpick is the very end could have tapered a little bit more. I know it's difficult because you had the the ball there, but it almost seems like the between the two front balls. <laughs> Um, it, it almost tapers down in the center a little bit more than the actual end does, which I get it. Uniformity going from one ball to the, to the end, if you taper too much, but I still think you should have tapered it a little bit more. It would have, it would have, it would have not looked that as bulbousy at the end, but then man, the, I wish I could see the end of this, like the, the pommel side of it. Cause, uh, I, I would like to see how you did that there with the, with the ball, oh, man. I don't know. I thought I had my favorite one picked out, but I don't know, man. Okay, now this next one. Beautiful fake wood handle look. And then you have those facets like I like to do. Granted, your end is way too big. It's bulbousy. It gets bigger at the end than the than the like the beginning of the end of the blade. It it just it's it's bulbousy. The only 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 gripe. I'm sorry. I'm being mean. But the rest of it is just like, remember I said stars and then like the best here, right? We got really good here and we got stars. That's where these are, okay? That's why we're ending on this one. These are the last ones that we're going to talk about today. And man, this one would have been very difficult to get those like flat like ends with the the bark there as well. I wonder how, how did you do the end, man? I, I, you got to send more pictures. You got to send, you got next time you submit any, if you haven't already... <laughs> Um, you gotta send some more, like, you gotta tell me more. Good news is that we are in August of 2020 right now. So we made it through two months. We made it through June and July. And now we are in the beginning of August. So hopefully we'll get to your wands soon. Whoever has submitted them and is still watching these videos, hoping that I, I do your wands. Um, but, uh, Jenna from Mass. There we go. I cheated. Um, nice. Very nice job. Beautiful job. Or obviously you're like an art student or something, right? You got to be. Right? Come on. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to submit your wands to uh, Wand Review, make sure to send them over to newwandsday at gmail.com. And uh, F16 by 9, aspect ratio, all that stuff. And uh, that, 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 that's about it. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are still here,
at this point. Include the word. Leave a comment, right, to let me know that you that you watch this far. Not most people don't. So if you do, we appreciate you, and we're very happy, and we 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 like to see who sticks around. Include the word mushroom in your sentence, and tr- and try to make it like make sense. Okay, and you can't talk about the mushroom want, unless that was really the one you you wanted, you liked. Let me know which one you guys liked. Which one? Which out of all these wands that we talked about today, which one was your favorite? Show some love to the people that submitted and put you know put their necks on the line type thing. You know, put themselves out there submitting stuff so that other people can talk about it and possibly say mean things and make them feel bad about themselves. If you like their wands, make sure you you you, you tell them. Now, if you didn't like their wands, just shut up. Don't say anything. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Uh, bye, bye, bye. Thank you.